You're laughing at Ali, not you, Joe. Continue. He snort. Moving on. Because... Stop it. Anyway. Uh, The Dubai Advocate has started a debate around menstrual leave for women. Now, Dubai-based journalist and self-love advocate Danae Mercer is known for being supremely candid on social media about all things related to body image and fat surrounding the same. So she's not one to shy away from bold topics. Now, Danae is once again creating a stir on social media with her recent post on menstrual leaves. Now, with the post displaying an insensitive response towards menstruations from a male perspective, it highlights how the corporate world is still far from... adopting a more versatile work culture for women. Now, the post shared by Mercer reads, y'all can control your cycles. I know y'all can be a professional no matter how bad the pain is. Now, the post tells women to turn it off, which is periods, uh, before coming to work. I mean, can you imagine people like this exist? Mm. But anyway, Danae captioned her post saying, like, we need to speak about periods um, candidly. And these men who are perhaps... have been told almost nothing about periods their whole lives are often the ones making decisions that impact ours. Now, the response to this was incredible. Women share their struggles of being belittled and ridiculed uh, for asking for a sick leave to deal with their period pains. And one user uh, named Holly and Flora commented saying, I have had to lie to stay home for, from work because it was more socially acceptable to stay home due to saying I was throwing up or having a stomach flu than to say I was... Uh, Uh, on the floor with cramps that were out of my immediate control. Now, this really raises the question of how much is being done for women in the workforce uh, uh, in the UAE. Now, with companies being more open to trial various methods of work and other uh, and incentives to increase productivity and boost employee morale, such as, you know, like trialing a three-day weekend, this conversation may just alert organizations to introduce the option of work from home For women once a month I think that would spark a big debate whether that would happen yeah I mean you suggested this yesterday when I was just like hmm this is quite interesting you know like menstrual leaves already like so many leaves are well it's, it's worth noting that it's a massive taboo subject in the UE so I think it would, like you'd need a big conversation like a conversation before it was actually uh, accepted as a talking point I guess yeah but I mean for this as a solution uh, maybe you know like if companies are kind of aware of this maybe a work from home kind of situation for women once a month to allow them the space to deal with their pains and not you know that doesn't only minimize the number of sick leaves but also promotes a healthy and supportive work environment 100 just in terms of a uh, uh, transparency about how you're feeling like the fact that a woman felt that she needed to lie because it yeah. wasn't something that she was able to broach um is a shame Uh, the UAE doesn't have regulations for menstrual leave per se, uh, but companies are obligated to provide sick leave of not more than uh, 90, 90 days per year. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, according to, um, sorry about that. According to the UAE government portal, an employee is entitled to a sick leave of not more than 90 days per year, only after the probation period has been completed. Um, and then, of course, it's up to you how to do that sick leave. But then uh, I think the question is, should you be uh, saying that the menstrual uh, cycling period would be in those 90 days? So with the UAE government portal, when they clarified on the 90 days sick leave, they're like, there's a period where it's paid, there's a period where it's half paid, and there's a period, like, if you exceed that number of days, it's unpaid. Mm. So 90 days in total, if it's really did, required. Ah, I, well, it's funny, because I the only reason I question it is because when I was working as a teacher, I thought we had 10 days. That was in our contract, was 10 days sick leave. Mm. Um, so it's 10 days of paid sick leave, and if you take anything after that, it would be unpaid. Unpaid, yeah. Yeah, so then... <laughs> is it was very interesting people would perfectly take the 10 days and then they would uh not take the, the and never get sick that. again it yeah, never gets sick again yeah it was so interesting or like in the very end of the year um but it is a very interesting topic it's of course uh um just in general it is more taboo in the ue in terms of like an open conversation about it uh so potentially this conversation and debate will open it up whether or not um People should be allowed uh, full days leave per month, I think is yeah. like a, a defined day leave per month or two. I think that um, that would be too far because I think it affects everyone differently at different points. So yeah. But you, but let's say like one month, I might need it. And like for six months, I'd be absolutely fine. You know, yeah. just one month, you're just like pains and tiredness and not coping. And then other yeah, months, I'm totally sure. fine. So I think like a defined day, personally, I probably it would be too much because you also want an equal balance Uh, work society but a society in a workplace where you can actually have an open conversation and say I'm not feeling well because of this can I work from home would actually yeah. be fantastic 
Yeah, just that flexibility. Like, of if you do want to work from home, you have that liberty to. You have that um, allowance to. But um, Danae Mercer, like, m- more power to her for even bringing up these topics and speaking about them so candidly on social media. 